The Tug Fork Tire Tug of War cleanup is back. Due to inclement weather, cleanup efforts were rescheduled earlier this month. Friday, we spoke with Tug Fork Friends member John Burchett about their recent success and their new cleanup plan. Yeah, 819 tires in one day is a, is a pretty good achievement for us. Uh, in 2019, we got 2,321 tires in, with four days work. So 819 in a day is, is really good. We were happy with that. Uh, it, was, it was raining on us that day. The river was coming up on us that day. The water clarity was going down on us that day. Uh, but we managed to get, uh, get, a, get a, uh, a good day's work in, and, and we, were, we were happy with the results that day. Even with over 800 tires out of the river, more is needing to be done. This September 20th, Burchett and volunteers will continue their cleanup efforts, and they need your help. Things are changing a little bit. Uh, we're going to set up mostly at the uh, South Williamson boat ramp uh, by, beside El Azul's restaurant. Uh, we'll have some different river access. Uh, we're not sure exactly where that's going to be just yet, but we're going to be working probably this part of the river and on down. Uh, so look for us. If you come out to volunteer, look for us at the boat ramp uh, there beside El Azul's. And we might, you might want to go somewhere else to actually get in the water, but we'll have instructions there as to, as to where we're actually working. Here at Pikeville Medical Center's Heart and Vascular Institute, we have assembled a comprehensive team of cardiac specialists bringing expertise from all regions of the nation and the world. We have coupled that with cutting edge technology, providing them the best equipment and operating rooms available. The result is comprehensive cardiac care for the people of our region that is second to none. The Heart and Vascular Institute at Pikeville Medical Center. With the cleanup efforts in place, Burchett says it'll help the area's tourism progress. We, uh, we got approval of our uh, West Virginia Flatwater Trail uh, for uh, the length of the Tug Fork River uh, that stretches along Mingo County. It's a 60 mile stretch of river that is now a uh, West Virginia flatwater trail. We named it the uh, Bloody Mingo Flatwater Trail after uh, all of the bloody history of Mingo County. It has nothing to do with the, uh, uh, with the, the water itself. It's a flatwater uh, uh, float trip, uh, so there's no white water in it. But uh, Bloody Mingo, just to honor the uh, the history of Mingo County, uh, all the bloodshed in the early days of our, of our county. Again, the Tug Fork Tire Tug of War cleanup will be held outside the floodgate near the Mini Park on September 20th and 22nd from 9 a.m. to 2 p.m. For Mountaintop News, I'm Joel Cordial.